Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The India's fifth generation fighter jet program AMCAS project director AK Ghosh has said during the Defense Expo that the first prototype of AMCAS is expected to roll out in 3 years and the first flight could take another year and a half considering we are at the end of this year the roll out would be expected at the end of 2025 and the first flight in mid of 2027 now as we are already aware that the pdr that is preliminary design review of the fighter jet is complete and currently its cdr that is critical design review is ongoing as for the latest report the comprehensive design review that is cdr is almost complete and the documents for the same will be soon handed over to indian air force and once indian air force accepts them and signs them the cabinet clearance for the funds could be given after which the work to build prototype will begin for tes mark 2 the funding amounting to rupees 9000 crore has been recently been approved for its prototype development testing and certification but the funding approval for amka is still awaited and can be expected once the cdr is complete ADA will develop five prototype of AMCA for flight testing which will cost close to 900 crore each however this cost will further reduce when the fighter jet enters into full fledged production now since AMCA is an indigenous fighter it will be still be cheaper by 50 to 60% than the imported fifth generation fighters in its category at present The development cost of AMCA is estimated to be around 15000 crore rupees which is awaiting approval from cabinet committee on security. However, HL which is a development partner for AMCA has commenced the sourcing and manufacturing of certain parts such as metal cutting of titanium bulkhead of AMCA aircraft as part of technology development which commenced on July 30th this year. The full fledged development on prototype will commence only after the completion of CDR and the approval for the funds. Now in order to fast track the development of AMCA and IMRH they have been placed under SPV or special purpose vehicle model involving private players with majority of stack. The idea behind giving majority stack to private players is to speed up the procurement process. This will avoid the bureaucratic red tape which we have in our PSC procurement process and reduce the cost of development as well. The SPV would be involved in the prototype development, series production and providing lifetime cycle support to the Indian Air Force. Recently, Vem Technology has also showcased jigs for fuselages and wing assemblies for AMCA. The picture for the same has been shared by Alpha Defense. The Indian Air Force has planned to acquire seven squadrons of AMCA, which will include two squadrons of AMCA Mark I and five squadrons of AMCA Mark II. The Mark I variant of AMCA will be powered by G F414 INS6 turbofan engines, capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. However, it will not be sufficient to provide the fighter jet super cruise ability that is cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. it might provide to certain low mach number but not at a higher speed apart from engine the mark 1 will also feature an imported ejection seat and the other component which includes sensors avionics and flight control systems are going to be indigenous one which is going to increase the percentage of indigenous component in the fighter jet by 70% the introduction of indigenous engine and arm car will further increase the indigenous content by 90% Now talking about AMCA Mark II, it will feature indigenous engine to be developed jointly by DRDO and the foreign OEM, which is expected to be ready in next seven to eight or maybe ten years. It is expected to have some six generation technology such as direct energy weapons and ability to launch unmanned aerial vehicle. Due to more powerful engine, the fighter jet will be able to super cruise at supersonic speed at high Mach number without the use of afterburner. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.